Yo guys, what's going on here? Welcome back to another video on my channel. Now in today's video, guys, I am going to be bringing you a really effective offense in Madden 22. Now quickly, guys, before we do head into today's video, if you guys have not checked out my two most recent videos, they are going to be in the top right of the screen right now in the card. Because without further ado, let's go ahead and let's move into the pre-play adjustments here for this offense. All right, guys, so here we go. So we're going to move into the pre-play adjustments now in terms of coaching adjustments. There really isn't anything I can recommend right here as it really is not relevant to this offense. But in terms of the personnel, um, what we're going to be running today, we're going to be running out of the gun tight formation. I'm currently in the Detroit Lions offensive playbook. Now in the description, it's going to have all of the playbooks that this play them or that we're going to be going over today, all of the playbooks that that play is in. But pretty much right here for this, what you want to have is you want to have your fastest receiver in this position. You want to make substitutions institutions and you want your fastest receiver to be in this spot that is highlighted by the green dot right here. I have Khalif Raymond, 94 speed. He's pretty freaking fast. And then right here, you want to have a receiver that can, you know, pat, catch the ball. Pretty much a really good catching receiver. So Tyrell Williams would do a pretty good job. And then right here, you can really put anybody, but just put like the highest overall receiver you have. And that's not in one of these two spots right here. Just put them right here. Really does not matter. Now, in terms of the play today, we are going to be going over over drive corner now there is actually some really good plays out of this like this pa slot cross does not look too bad this slot post i was looking at mesh spot doesn't look awful so there's definitely some plays in here that can be very very good but today we're just going to go over one of them which is going to be drive corner so basically right here guys now we're going to be moving into the first setup here for this offense all right guys so here we go so this is going to be setup number one so really the first setup is just going to be running the play stock you pretty much know the drill now now, in terms of this here, you have a lot of good routes on the field. You have a table route by the running back, which you can only get if you have, I believe, what, like running back? I don't even think running back apprentice is a thing, but like hot route master, I believe you can get that route right there. But basically, you have the running back on a table route. You have X on the angled out route on the left side. And then you also have Y on the little weird corner route that actually does a pretty good job against man coverage. And then also on the right side of the field, you have B going on that. That weird drag it's sort of it's like at an angle but pretty much right here just run the play stock that's going to be the first setup now what you're going to want to look for the first read that you're going to want to look to is the first player excuse me is going to be the running back on the table route going out to that right side and then your second read is going to be x on that angled out route then you're going to be looking at b on that drag and then y on the corner route and then a on that in route so pretty much right here we're just going to hike the ball you're going to see rb is going to get open right here the tight end actually set a pretty good pick right there and we were able to get some pretty good space right there with our running back so we're just going to run this one more time so we're just going to hike the ball got to make a read boom as you can see the little pick was set now unfortunately jared goff did make a pretty bad pass right there but you saw that that was open and we could turn up field to get a bit more yards but now guys we're going to be moving into the second setup all right guys so here we go this is going to be setup number two right here for this offense what we are going to be doing is we're first going to be throwing the a receiver on a hitch route which is going to be y a and then right trigger now you might be asking yo yo well that's a tight end how can you put a tight end on a hitch well basically within this formation tight ends can actually put, be put on wide receiver routes so um, if you want to put your tight end like on a corner route, for example, you could do that if you have like hot route master or something like that. Basically, you can put them on wide receiver routes such as slants and also let's see what are some other routes? Yeah, flat routes you could put them on that sort of stuff right there. You can go and put them on them. And then basically, and then the second step of the setup right here is we're going to put X on a curl, which is going to be Y X and then down on the left stick. And then finally, we're going to put B on a drag, which is going to be Y B and down on the right stick. So basically right here, this is going to be the play art. You see we have A on a hitch, X on a curl, and B on that drag, as well as the two routes that come stock with this play, which is the corner route and the table route. So the first read that you're gonna the first player that you're gonna want to look at right here is going to be the running back going on the table route. Next, you're gonna want to look at the tight end going on that hitch. Then you're gonna want to look at B going on the drag, then X on the curl, and finally Y on that corner route. So pretty quickly here, we're just gonna hike the ball. You're gonna see that I'm just going to wait some time and I actually threw the ball a bit late right there 
to Khalif Raymond, but he did get some pretty good separation. You know, I kind of just froze up in the pocket right there. It happens, you know, I'm getting better. But basically what we're gonna do is just X on a hitch, square X on, or excuse me, A on a hitch, X on a curl, and then B on a drag. So once again here, this is the normal play art setup right here. And you're going to see why is this going to get just wide open. Look at that right there. Now, we could have had a touchdown right there. But unfortunately, the safety just had to ruin the fun. But pretty much right here, that is going to be the second setup for this offense. But now, guys, we're going to be moving into the third and final setup. All right, guys. So here we go. This is going to be the third and final setup for this offense. What we are going to be doing is we're first going to be throwing the A receiver on a hitch, which is going to be Y, A, and then right trigger. And then we're going to be throwing the B receiver on a curl, which is going to be Y, B, and down on the left stick. So pretty much right here, this is going to be the setup. This is what your play art should look like. You see on the right side, we have that hitch and curl combo as well as that table route. And then we also have the X and the Y receiver on that left side, the X receiver going on that angled out route and the Y receiver going on the corner route. So your reads, you're going to want to first look at the running back, then A on the hitch, B on the curl, X on the out route, and then finally Y on that corner route so we're just gonna hike the ball right here you're gonna see running back just gonna get wide open once again it's a mismatch guys i'm telling you it is a big big time mismatch and you can definitely you know you can make your opponent work a little bit right here with that table route so let's just say it gets picked up i can instantly just go i look at my options and i can throw to that wide corner route you know if it was open but unfortunately i read it too late so you pretty much just gotta you know read the pocket and and you also just gotta read i mean i meant read your routes but basically just go look all over the field right here so you're gonna see we're reading our routes and then why uh, as you can see it's wide open boom right there you see now we are gonna be inside the 10 yard line with that bomb right there from jared Goff. but guys that is gonna pretty much do it here for this video hope you guys have enjoyed if you did please make sure to smash that like button the trash press five likes the support has been insane recently guys thank you for that and thank you for watching this video take care but most importantly stay classy